Hey everyone, Howie Fisher from Fisher's Flies. Thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to be tying up a mini or micro chubby. This is a obviously miniature version of the traditional chubby Chernobyl. For this specific one, I'm using a A-Rex Freshwater 570 in size 14. Obviously tie the size that you'd like. For the thread, I'm using 70 denier UTC in black. And I'm just going to get started with my thread right behind the hook eye and take this all the way back to the bend before snipping or breaking my thread off. Once I get to right about the bend of the hook, I'm going to be adding my dubbing for the body, which is Fiberfly's alpaca dubbing in black. This is a UV added dubbing, so alpaca is naturally water resistant and it has a nice little flash in it. So. I'm just going to start building up a small, thin dubbing noodle. Uh, you really don't want a lot of buildup on this fly because you do want it to be on the smaller side. For the back part of this fly, you probably want about a two inch dubbing noodle that's just about as thin as you can make it. If you build up too much, this fly can add up quick. So again, I'm just going to take a couple wraps forward. And I actually added a little bit too much here, as you can see, so I'm going to pull some off. And again, just make that dubbing noodle as small and thin as possible. I'm going to wrap a couple forward then where I want the thread to end, and then I'm going to bring my thread back over just in front of the hook point, as you can see here. What this does is it gives the foam a little bit more something to grab onto. For the foam, I'm using a strip of 2 millimeter black thin foam. I've cut this into pre-strips using a nice little tool from On The Dropper over in Europe. You can check him out. I'll drop a link in the bio. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a notch. This is designed to look like the tails of a fly, uh, similar to how a buyout would look. So where you want this to be is you want the V, the point of this V to be right where the body ends. And if you can get that lined up well, or perfectly, if you will, it's going to look exactly like two little tails poking out the back of this, whether that's a stone fly or something similar. For the hot spot, I'm using Arizona Diamond Dub in red. You could use Ice Dub, you could use something else, you could use a different color. You could leave the hot spot out if you'd like. Again, just using a tiny amount, this is about probably a little, about a half inch size. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add my black dubbing again on the back end of this so I just get right into the rest of the body. And again I'm going to take two or three wraps with the red and then I'm going to start immediately wrapping the black in front of this foam and fold that back. I'm going to bring my foam again all the way to the eye and then take a wrap backwards. Once I've done this I'll secure this foam at the front with two or three wraps. Make sure it's not going anywhere. And the next step here is going to be to add the wing material. When I'm tying these personally, I only prefer a wing in the front, and I'll explain a little bit why I'm in a second. I'm just using poly wing material in white. So I'm going to make this a little bit longer than the length of the body. I'm going to give it two or three wraps to secure it. And then I'm going to use my scissors to create a little bit of a loop like this. This is a, a cool little trick to do this. And then I'm going to secure this like so. If you have trouble securing your poly wing like this, where you're folding it over on itself, try that little tip or trick. Uh, you could just use, the, again, the tip of your scissors or a bodkin or your, the end of your whip finish tool, just something that will allow you to, to fold that over on itself. For the legs, I'm using Superflex or Sexy Floss in black. And I'm just going to take for this specific pattern, again, I prefer to take two pairs of two lengths or two pairs of legs and fold them over. So you just get a little bit, it's just a, a little bit more depth or something a little bit different about this fly, in my opinion. So again, I'm going to wrap those over or double them over on themselves without cutting. If you've seen some of my other videos, uh, I've talked about how I like leaving legs looped in the front like this. It just makes them a little bit easier to fold back, 
to manage before uh, you finish the fly. So lastly, I'm going to add some para post in fluorescent orange. This is optional. You could use a small piece of foam if you'd like, yarn, whatever you like. Just an added hot spot here, uh, especially as you get in the smaller sizes. This is a nice little added feature. I'm going to leave this as is. And finally, I'm going to add, again, another little red hot spot. Again, you can use ice dub. You don't have to add this one at all. Mix it up, make this fly your own, do whatever you prefer. I'm going to take two wraps and then I'm going to wrap in front of this foam to prop that foam up and to whip finish it. And again, you'll notice that I didn't snip anything off yet. I think this makes finishing the fly a little bit easier. Whip finish, snip my thread. Now I'm going to come in and snip this, this para post or poly yarn. I'm going to snip the foam off, and you can see again it was super easy to just fold those legs back with them in one piece. And lastly, I'll snip those legs like that. Adjust the legs now where you want them. Cut them a little bit to length if you need to. And lastly, what I like to do on this fly or anything with a wing like this, um, I personally like, especially on this smaller style, my wings to lay flat. So I'll add a little bit of solar as bone dry to the base of the wing. Not only will this help with durability, but it'll help your, your wing to lay flat. So this is going to look more like a natural uh, little black stone or uh, just a smaller stone fly beetle ant, whatever you want it to look like, whatever the fish thinks it will look like. But you can see now that that wing just lays very flat and is going to stay in that position, unlike a traditional chubby where you have that really high puffy wing. This is just a personal preference. Again, do whatever you would like with this fly, however you like to fish it. Again, this is the mini or micro chubby. Tie them up. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you like to tie them or your different variations. Thanks for checking in.